Hey, what's going on guys? So I have another building video for you and I am just so damn happy about this one. I've been working at it all day. Um, someone suggested it to me and I figured I would get on it and I would uh, figure out a way to do it and do it efficiently and without it being uh, just so difficult. And uh, so today I present to you how to stack foundations on top of each other to create a wall or to create a, a trap base. Now I'm not going to be going into how to make the trap base just this second. I'm still kind of hashing that out for myself, still working on things. Uh, I've got, I think, two different methods to do this, uh, to do this stacking here. So we're going to be trying to do that and uh, seeing how that works out for us. So let's get in here. Okay, so you see I've got it here and it's perfectly stacked on top of each other. So what you want to do is go over to your floors. That's roofs. So go to floors. So we're just going to start off with a line here going this way. So come on. Base. I've been having a lot of issues with my building today. It's been all, all kind of whack. And uh, you should feel pretty, uh, pretty happy. I had to get rid of my entire settlement in order to do this video. I had to scrap or store everything. So wasn't too happy about that, but I needed to change anyways. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place metal stairs just like that. So you're going to want to come two spaces over now. So there's one and two and you're going to want to place another set of stairs facing toward the other set so now you have to come up here scroll over to floors and you have to do these floors for some reason they won't go on any of the other floors so do these floors uh, you can change the style it does not have to be that style it could be it could be any of them as long as it's this little half floor here oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i messed up there it's my fault. You want two complete squares open. So you have to go, you have to have one, two, and so it'll go on the third one. So the third one on either side, because you need this gap right here. That's just enough room for a foundation to go in. So now what you want to do is you want to go over to your lights, and you want to get this campfire here, and you want to place it on top of this second floor just like that. And now go back over to floors. Scroll up to the concrete foundation, and voila. So now store these, because you're going to need them later. Move your campfire over here to the middle, so that you can get rid of these floors without your fire going away. And uh, okay, so now the next part. Now this is a problem that uh, no one seemed to have a solution for before. I mean, no, I don't. I have not found a single video showing you how to stack these foundations like this anywhere on the internet. There's been plenty of people asking but nobody giving an answer and that's why I'm doing this video now is uh, I, I worked on it all day and I figured it out. So as you can see it's not going to snap. So what you want to do is you want to move this campfire right over to the edge where you know it's just barely hanging off like that and now bring it over and it snaps. So just uh, you just have to do that. that that's really it you just uh, sometimes you'll get if your game's anything like mine you'll get it'll want to pop over to the side but you you see it, it will not snap object is floating and but if you move this campfire over here you can get a full wall going over and you don't even have to go on top of the ones you've already created so you can make doorways and things like that out of them by leaving a space open down at the bottom like that see how I did that and uh, you can actually, I believe you could fit a rolling door under there. It would look really nice if you want to do like a, some kind of huge industrial-like build. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so do that. And then uh, let's go another story up. So let's go back over to our stairs. We're going to place these over here facing us. And uh, be careful with this campfire because for some reason... Uh, I'll show you here. It does not want to uh, go over the campfire. 
in certain directions. See, it will not it will not go like that. But if you go over to the side, it won't go over like that. So it does not like to sit over that fire. So you have to move the fire out of the way into a free space where you're not going to set anything. Ah, I keep jumping over it. Okay. So, and uh, that even goes for the floors in most cases. The floors, for some reason, won't go over the fire sometimes. So, go back over to the floors, down. Build your floors. Pick your fire back up, bring it up here. Uh, floors. I don't know why I toggled. Oh. Yeah, sometimes if you have the fire hanging off too far, it won't uh, it won't place. And sometimes it won't it'll show red and you just have to rotate it for some reason. If you just rotate the block, it it'll place just magically. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, yeah, that's how it happens. So, move my fire back over here, store my stairs again. Now, uh, take note for some reason there's been an issue with this game since it started with storing things and sometimes You'll store something and have it just completely disappear from your inventory. And uh, you'll actually have to build it again, but it will be taken away from your budget. I don't know what the deal is with that, but again, how it's been since it, uh, since it started. Come on. Okay, and uh, once we finish up this row here, I'm going to show you the second method that I have for this. Why is the block to my side? I'm going to show you the second method I have for this, if uh, this this one would ever place. Sometimes you got to go up a little bit further, sometimes you got to pull it back a bit, and sometimes you have to you have to play around with it and uh, make it work. Uh, you know, moving the campfire around isn't, you know, isn't too fun, but uh, you know, this is the only method I've been able to find so, uh, good luck if you're looking for another one. If you find it, please let me know because I would love to know it. Um, you know, but uh, this is this is how I got to do it for now until I find another method. So, my second method goes like this. <clears throat> so, we're just going to build, I guess we'll start off another one. And just do a whole new wall. So, I'm going to store that. Jump down. I'm over encumbered so I can't, uh, can't actually run. And I'm just going to start down here. I'll do this one this way, I guess. We'll just do a couple blocks on this one because this one doesn't have to be as uh, doesn't have to be as long. Huh? I built 760 structures. So what you want to do is you want to grab one of these. So uh, it doesn't matter which one you want to grab. Uh, you just got to grab one and snap it. Oh yeah, I forgot it won't snap towards, it'll only snap away from for some reason. So, same thing as before, scroll over to your lights, get you another campfire, set it on top, pull this foundation right up here, and there you go. That's how you would do this method. So, let's... Uh, Let's go up another story just to kind of prove that it works. So I'm going to store that. I'm going to move this over here to put one of these up top. Oh, well, I guess I'm still in dirt technically, so I, I need to move it over here where I'm not really in the dirt. Because, yeah, see, I'm still in the dirt, so I would still be able to place that without the campfire. Um, but we're about to not be able to, and that's what I'm working on now. So now we are clearly on a second level foundation. So again, what you want to do is go and find that, uh, what was it under floors? Oh yeah, it's under floors, okay. So uh, this one's a little different once you're up here. So what you want to do is you want to just set it down off to the side like that. And you want to take your campfire, place it like that on top already. And then, you want to attach it. I want it right here. There we go. Okay. I wanted it to set right there for me.
You see, just like that. So you don't have to take the floor out from underneath every single time. Uh, I don't know why I am, really. Um, this one's just a little bit different because you have to go to the side in order to do it. So since we're up here now, so I like to keep the fire here so I don't have to keep moving it around. So I'm going to grab another one. And I'm going to set this one right here off to the side. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull it up here. I'm going to set it just like that. And then I'm going to take this. And now this is going to go. Oh, sorry. I forgot to got to. Sometimes you'll have an issue once you get up so high with these things. And uh, they don't want to snap after a while. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to do it every single time, but uh, from what I've been able to tell so far, you just have to move this. Uh, you just have to move this around. See, I moved that off to that other side, just like that, over to this other corner, and it just snapped right on. So I, I had no problem out of it that time. So let's pull this one down here, and let's go. Let's go up. And so you can just keep cycling these around like this. So then you, uh, you pull this up. So like we're going for the wall. So that, that's what we're attempting to build now is a wall going up. And so you just have to go off to the side. So it's like as you, as you go off to the side, you just move that block and then you come up some more come on that's probably too far back now I don't understand why that's not one to snap now <laughs> come on and see did you see that look at that there's just something about these campfires just something about them. I don't know what it is. I hope they don't fix it because this is, you know, this is pretty cool at the moment. Oh, it's, uh, hold on. Let me see. That's probably going to interfere with that other structure. Yeah, it's not going to let me place it there. Okay, so I've kind of hit a snag on this one. Uh, but you, you see what I mean? You just have to play around with things. You just got to, you just got to play around with some of the, uh, some of the options they give you in order to get things to place correctly. So what we're going to, let's try to store that and see if that makes any difference. I don't know what I'm doing without my fire over here. Let's just store it all together. We'll just start off with a new floor. That's really weird. What? <laughs> what is going on? See, like I said, this one's a little bit, uh, I don't like this one as much because it does things like this and it does snag like that. And uh, it just gets you in a position you don't want to be in where, uh, where you just kind of get stuck because it won't let you place anything anymore. And another weird thing about these campfires is they kind of act like staircases. So, see, if you jump, you can just walk right up. And sometimes you don't even have to jump like that. I, I No jump. You just kind of walk on and off of it. It's really, really strange. So, uh, you know, let me see. And if you, do, if you don't know what I'm doing here, um, moving it back and forth like that, I'll go ahead and let you know and uh, tell you that all you have to do is select an object and then hold the A button if you're on Xbox. It's the A button. I don't know. I think it's X on PlayStation. So just hold that button and then move the sticks or the stick, the left stick, to rotate it. And then the LB is to go up. RB is to move it down. Now, there are limitations for it. Um, so just be aware of those. 
But uh, like I said, it doesn't like to do this method because, see, if you notice here, it's like halfway through. So it's only like a half step up from what it normally would be. And so I think that's why I have a lot of problem out of it. It's not, it's, it's having to override several different collision detections. And uh, it just, it does not like that. It doesn't like for that to happen. And so that's why I have uh, issues out of that most of the time. So a lot of times you have to pull it over to the corner like this and rotate or move to another corner. And so I don't know if you saw that, but see, it'll place just like this. It's, it's really odd. Sometimes if you even rotate the fire, it'll, uh, it'll work out better. And see, like it's wanting to, it's wanting to place here now. So see what I mean? It's just, these fires are just really, really strange. And they do some odd things. And it's, but there's probably a lot of other things you can do with them. But uh, that's just one of them. So uh, if you're doing this, so I don't know what that was about. I'm, uh. I'm levitating off the ground right now. I'm floating. Okay. So uh, anyways, that's all I really had to show you on this one is how to do these walls. And uh, you can go any direction with them. Uh, as long as you have that campfire, you can go off to the sides. You can do a full square around. You can do pretty much anything with these things. It's really, really neat. Uh, you can also do it with the wood foundations, but it's got that big hole. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind whenever you go to do it. And uh, I actually haven't tried putting a wall on it, but uh, let me let me see real quick. Go down to my brick. And, mm, yeah, you can put a wall up top, but it does not look like the wall will go down. So, yeah, if you want to... If you want to build a base, you know, with these castle walls around them, and you don't want anyone else to get in, this is basically all you have to do right here. That's basically it. So you build a big square out of these foundations, and they don't take up a whole lot of room, as you saw. I've got two big walls here, and I already had sto pretty much everything I have stored. So they don't take up a lot of, a lot of space. I've already got two here, and I've still got a pretty good bit of budget, and that's with everything I have in storage. So you could definitely build a full wall like this around a decent chunk of your settlement, and then just build a staircase on the outside. Build one on the inside so you can get out, of course, but build one on the outside like this, and then scrap the bottom because then there's no way anyone else is going to be able to get up to that other set of stairs. And then another, a, an idea I had for a trap base I was going to try to set up is to actually build your settlement like that and then have stairs leading up like this. Have some stairs leading up like that and have, say, what well, looks like a guard tower over here, but with concealed steps over like in the corner seal some a staircase going down so you can uh, have someone in oh yeah hey come uh, come trade with me and then delete the stairs off the top so that they're stuck now down in the bottom of your settlement so uh, yeah there's just some just some cool ideas and some things that you can do in Fallout 76 to make your building a little bit a little bit more efficient a little bit more creative but uh, that's all I have for this one. I am working on other methods as we speak. I'm working on a, a trap base video also to kind of show off a few more things that you can do and a little bit more creative ideas. Um, I've had my camp here since the beta, so I don't think I'm going to move this camp. But uh, I have recently started another character. I'm going to work on building his level up. And that one's going to be my the one that I'm going to do traveling with. So... I'm going to use him to travel around the wasteland and show you all sort of unique and uh, cool settlement ideas in different places. Maybe uh, one in a silo and some caves and in some actual houses that are pre-built out in the wastes. Uh, even the back of a tractor trailer. So there's a lot of cool things that I have planned. 
Uh, so stay tuned. And like always, this has been Captain Rogers with Monster Bird Nation. I'll see you guys next time.